a 50 day super revision strategy for NEET MDS. Well, we approximately have 100 days remaining for NEET MDS, that's 100, 110 days remaining for NEET MDS. And I want to talk about two game changing revision strategies one for 50 days and one for the last 10 days so approximately a complete of 60 days revision strategy well the last 10 days will be a bigger game changer so i'll be talking about that separately in a different video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified every time i upload a video in this video let us go ahead and talk about the last and the most important days of preparation that is the 50 days super revision strategy a lot of you would have finished the portions once or twice and some of you are probably still covering the portions and you have a lot of thoughts and confusion in your mind whether how you will be able to revise 19 subjects towards the end so i have made a complete schedule to eliminate all these doubts and all these thoughts in your mind of how to revise 19 subjects now in the remaining days so this schedule will basically show you 50 day strategy and this video is for all those guys who want to up their game in this neat mds preparation go ahead and watch the video till the end and the reason i'm releasing this video right now and not in the last 50 day duration is because i want all of you who are still completing their portions to get up and try to finish your portions before the last 60 days of neat mds so that you can equally utilize this opportunity to use the schedule and up your game and be in the competitive spirit Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Noor Saira, an endodontist and a part-time YouTuber. I love to make videos on exam strategies, competitive exam guidances like those of neat MDS and productivity habit lifestyles and many other videos that can help you grow in your career. So let us dive in straight into today's topic that is what is this 50 day super revision strategy. Also towards the end I will tell you how you will be able to revise all the subjects twice in this 50 days so go ahead and watch the video till the end now let us look at the study plan the smart study plan here is that you have to combine the similar subjects to take the advantage of similar topics reduce your efforts and reduce your time and complete as much portions as possible so i've made a complete strategy for 50 days following this concept of combining subjects which are similar in nature and i have given you a different schedule for each 10 days for you to be able to complete the entire portion that is 19 subjects in those 50 days and also to be able to doubly revise important subjects go ahead and watch how you will be able to do that so the strategy here is that now we have 50 days in our hand and uh, the schedule will be or a timetable will be for 10 days each and we'll have five different uh, combination of the topics uh, that is similar topics such that you use the advantage of similar topics and you do not waste time and in the first 10 days i want you to complete anatomy dadh general surgery and oral surgery anatomy three days dadh two days general surgery two days and oral surgery three days now because of course because anatomy general surgery and oral surgery will have very interrelated topics so it will be very very easy for you to be in that flow and go ahead and complete the subject now coming on to the next 10 days next 10 days is going to be a clinical subject so what we're going to do in the 50 days is we're going to alternate with a clinical week and a basic week that's the first concept so the next 10 days we have ortho ortho three days we have pedo uh, two days we have perio two days and we have community dentistry for three days again all these are very interrelative topics because they deal with the preventive dentistry they deal with the interceptive dentistry they deal with periodontics and some amount of perio is also related both in community dentistry and orthodontics so and also topics like fluorides and everything are interrelated in all these subjects so it will be a flow for you and you can easily go ahead and complete the topics okay so 
after uh, alternating cleaning with basic again we're going to go back to our basic subject in the next 10 days now what happens when you're alternating your clinical and basic subject you're balancing out your memory you know you won't feel like you don't remember anything in the basics or you won't feel like you won't remember anything in the clinicals so you're going to do one week of clinical one week of a basic that way you're balancing out the strategy of remembering things and also since you will be having a basic week after your clinical week again so every time you do this basic week you'll always go back and recollect the information that you would have done in your previous basic subject week and again that's like reinforcing the memory and i'll also go ahead and tell you how to cleverly uh, do a double revision in this 50 days just go ahead and keep watching the video till the end so the third week or the third 10 days uh, will be where you do your oral path, oral med for three days and radiology for one day, general medicine for two days and general pathology for two days. Now, if you see the aggregate is not 10 days, you will have one buffer day here. I will tell you what you have to do with your buffer day. Uh, towards the end now again in the next uh, 10 days you have conjo endo three days dental material three days prosto three days now everything is interrelated everything is to do with dental materials so you will be able to uh, you know combine the subjects and study well and you know you will be able to complete it in a flow again if you calculate the days it's only nine days and you have one more extra day that is the buffer day so we will discuss what we have to do in the buffer day also so in the last 10 days we have we have kept a little difficult uh, to study subject because we want to remember this as near to the exam as possible so we have pharmacology physiology microbiology and biochem so pharma three days physio three days micro two days and biochem for two days okay now the first question that will come to mind is will i be able to uh, complete uh you know such 19 subjects in 3322 days yes you will be able to complete because you're not going to sit down and read new information you're not going to sit down and read extra mcqs or solve extra mcqs all you are trying to do in the last 50 days uh is that you are solving only the mcqs that you have previously solved and you are doing your notes having said that what are you going to do in the buffer days okay now ideally as per my plan you will be getting two buffer days right that is in the third week or in the fourth week you might be somebody who might be good at certain subjects and you might uh, utilize lesser times to uh, lesser time to you know finish that subject for example you might take lesser time to do oral surgery you might get an extra buffer day in the first week so what do you do in these buffer days it is important that you go ahead and solve a grand test in that buffer day that is one complete mock test you mimic the entire exam scenario in that uh, one day and you go ahead and see how much you're able to score and what you need to improve so the buffer tests are going to give you extra and new or fresh mcqs so what you need to do in this buffer test or grand test is that solve fresh uh, mock exams or grand tests not that you have previously given or not something that you are following from a specific app because there'll be a repeat of the questions so try to take fresh or new grand tests or mock exams and solve in these two days and you will see that your scores are either improving or decreasing and you will know where to exactly go ahead and you know put more efforts and increase your scores apart from that another thing that i want you to do is mark the difficult questions whatever question that you're solving or revising in these 50 days it's important that you go ahead and mark or encircle or highlight these questions because you should be able to know which are the questions where that you're continuously going wrong again and again and these are the questions that you'll have to revise towards the last 10 days before the neat mds examination having said that since you're already in a revision state and you're doing a lot of revision it is also important that you have some specific time set aside 
throughout the day to re-revise subjects and that's how you will be double revising your topics that is set aside 30 minutes revision in the morning and 30 minutes revision in the night so and what you will do in this 30 minutes is you will sort out 10 difficult subjects which you specifically find very very difficult personally and those subjects you will be revising you know every day uh, 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the night so uh, talking about 10 days you will effectively have 10 hours of re-revision in those 10 days so that will be like you you might probably able to cover at least two subjects in 10 days by just re-revising so this is the strategy of re-revision that you need to have and you will be completing or you will be acing in those difficult subjects also so that when you come to the last 10 days before neat mds after these 50 days you will exactly know how much you have to prepare what you have to prepare and which subjects to focus on more so this is the revision strategy that i want to give you that is one alternate the clinical week and the basic week and uh, solve only your mcqs and the notes please do not try to put extra material it is not humanly possible by you to revise extra material uh, put buffer days in the buffer days it's very very important to solve at least two grand tests so that you have exposure to new questions as well as you are able to analyze how you will be performing under pressure mark the difficult questions so that you're able to revise these questions in the last 10 days after the 50 days and 30 minutes re-revision every day in the morning and in the night only for those top 10 difficult subjects that you find very very difficult so by doing the strategy you will have revised the 19 subjects once completely and probably the top 10 most difficult subjects twice so as you move towards the end, that is the last 10 days that are remaining, you have already done your difficult subjects twice in the most recent past. The next thing you should know about is how many hours in a day you should be studying and how to manage your entire day. Well, you should be studying approximately 10 to 12 hours. I personally invested 13 hours in a day when I was preparing for my examination. In this 10 to 12 hours, like I told you, one hour has to be set aside for re-revision no matter what the condition is so one hour is gone for re-revision and the remaining 10 to 11 hours you will divide your day in such a way that you have 40% of your time remaining for notes and 60% of this time you will be just revising your MCQs as many as time as possible. Okay, complete your portions, solve more and more MCQs. Remember, it's important to use your active knowledge make your mind think recall the information don't just passively revise your notes don't just passively do your mcqs now okay i know this i know this don't do that try to solve it because there will be mistakes that you will find out try to mark those questions which you are going wrong in that's very very important to do having said this you will definitely want to relax in throughout the day it's very very important that you keep aside two or three hours where you are just completely relaxing because you have to go on for the next uh, 50 days and you have to go on and you know keep working hard if you get saturated if you get you know clouded and you, if you're going to feel like oh, i can't do this anymore i'm going to puke or i'm going to vomit that's not what we want we don't want you to get saturated we want you to keep going so it's important to balance out between your concentrated studies and having some relaxed time sleep well i i can't emphasize on this enough please sleep at least for six to seven hours every day your mind is not a machine it needs to function it needs to register the information it needs to recall the information go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming up with a 10 day revision strategy which will be the biggest game changer for your neat mds preparation so i hope you like this video i hope this video has been helpful to you go ahead and like uh, like the video share it with your colleagues also leave a comment in the comment section that will help me grow uh, the channel as well as help me uh, motivate myself to make up more such videos so have a good day all the best for your examination and god bless you for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you